Hello! Our previous lessons were dedicated to study of production process. Today we are going to learn about allocation of operating costs. Company consumes materials for manufacturing process needs. This resource is a direct expense. Other expenses like electricity, rent, utility are also resources for manufacturing process, but indirect regarding to finished products. We need to allocate such expenses to the cost of products. Company expenses are usually divided into several groups with different allocation methods on the cost of products. Product expenses. This group reflects different expenses of production. All expenses in this group are marked as goods or work, and the amount of goods or work is specified. It's easy to analyze how they are included in the cost of product by tracking movement of each batch. Itemize expenses. Expenses accounting on the expense item level are represented by monetary values only. They often reflect indirect expenses of the company. They may also be included in the value of current and capital assets of the company. In rare cases, they can be included in direct expenses. For example, depreciation or accrued payroll with taxes are included in direct production expenses. Itemized expenses are so named because you must select an expense item when recording them. You can move the cost item expenses from the cost object to the department where the production cost is calculated. This operation is performed automatically when calculating the production costs. You can use itemized expenses for expense analysis of a particular department. Itemized expenses are often included in the manufacturing cost of products. Generation of assets and liabilities. This group records procedures related to manual creation of assets and registration of liabilities. You need to use asset liability items to record this. The recording method is the same for itemized expenses. Let's take a look at itemized expenses only. Let's assume that our company received an electricity bill. We are going to record the expenses now. We have several documents we can use to record itemized expenses. Let's go over them briefly. Purchase of goods and services. This document is used to record purchases of goods, works, or services. Purchase of services and other assets. This document is used to record purchase of services, fixed tangible or intangible assets that don't include product items. Write off as expenses. This document records internal consumption of materials and goods. Allocation of materials and works. This document is used for allocation of all indirect materials and works consumed by production department on relevant production stages. Expense registration. This document is used to record expenses and one-off events in financial accounting. We're going to use purchase of services and other assets because it best fits our purpose. Let's create a document. Go to Purchases, Purchase Documents, All, and click Create. Purchase of services and other assets. Fill in the document. Select a customer named Rent and Electricity. Select Contract 2. Go to the Expenses and Other Assets tab. Add to lines with Electricity Bill Service. Set price to 200 euros for each one. Set receiving department to workshop 1 in the first line and to workshop 2 in the second one. Next, we're going to specify the expense item or asset we want to use to write off the electricity costs. This is specified in the item of expenses assets field. Let's write off the electricity costs to an expense item. First, we need to create an expense item. Type in description for our expense item. Electricity. 
production expenses. Electricity expenses must be allocated to the cost of products released in production, so we need to choose expense type production expenses. Expenses for the activity main. Allocate an accounting to, to manufacturing costs, because this option best fits our purpose. Next, we are going to set up expense allocation rules. These rules define drivers and statistics for allocation of itemized expenses. Let's create an allocation rule. Type in the name of our rule that distribution due to the current unit cost of materials. Select the checkbox named to batches according to rule. Next, select the departments to allocate the expenses. Choose current department. Great. Now set the allocation base to material cost. Now let's take a look at the fields named without filter by materials and to all product groups. Here you can set filters by products or product groups if necessary. We don't need to set any filters now. Let's move on. Save the rule and select it for our expense item. Next, our expenses are variable, so set cost item to the variable. Now let's create a costing item. Costing items are useful for filtering and grouping of expenses in reports. Type in the name of costing item, energy resources. Set expense type to other. The costing item is ready. Save it and select it for our expense item. Great. We are almost done. Set expense dimension type to department. Save the expense item. Now let's go back to the expense document and select our expense item for both lines. The document is done. Click Post and Close. Now record the rent expenses equal to 1,500 euros. The expense item is the same as for electricity, but when creating the allocation rule, allocate the expenses to all departments. Then take into account labor costs for the output performed in the previous lessons. To do this, we use the employee output document. This document is for completed production works by teams and workers. Documents are then used to calculate salaries of production workers. We aren't going to calculate salaries so far. Let's create the employee output document. Open manufacturing, labor costs, employee output. Open the employee output tab. Now create a new document for the team worked in workshop 2. Click create by team. Because the team worked there, choose our company. Department Workshop 2. Team Installers 2. Go on to the Perform Works tab. Click Fill in by References. The stages performed before have been filled in. Go on to the Employees tab. Click Fill in by Previous Content. The contribution of each employee has been calculated. Click Post and Close. The labor costs of Workshop 2 employees have been calculated. Do the same for Workshop 1 yourself. Great! The documents are ready. Now we need to create the document named Expense Allocation to Product Cost. And we need to do it before the month end closing. Go to Manufacturing, Intershop Accounting, Expense Allocation to Product Cost. Set the Company Filter to SBS Manufacturing and select a time period. Now you can see here all unallocated expenses broken down by expense item and by expense dimension. The button named Generate Allocation Documents fills the documents using expense allocation rules that are set up in expense items. At the end of the month, all documents are automatically filled in using the expense item settings. 
When creating documents manually, you can change the settings. Let's open our document. As you can see, we can change the allocation base and allocation rule here, if necessary. But we don't need to change anything right now, so just select all the documents and click Generate Allocation Documents. Now let's go to Manufacturing, Manufacturing Reports, and open the report named Movement of Itemized Expenses by Companies. If any itemized expenses are not allocated to production, you can see them here easily. Set the time period and click Run Report. As you can see, this month we got some expenses that are not allocated yet. Go to Financial Results and Controlling, Month and Closing, Month and Closing. Here we perform month and closing operations or troubleshoot any operations if something goes wrong. Set filter by companies to SBS Manufacturing. Set month to anything you like. Click Perform Operations. We just performed month and closing. Let's go back to our report and see if the expenses are allocated now. Run report. Yes, the itemized expenses are now allocated to production. Let's take a look at production costs. Go to Manufacturing, Manufacturing Reports, Cost Analysis, and open the actual product cost report. As you can see, materials, semi-finished products, and itemized expenses are allocated to production. Everything is OK. Today we learned about types of expenses and how to allocate them. Thank you for your time.